What's going on guys? Briar Rabbit here. Today is Friday. That means Zur is back in the tower. He's hanging out over here by the Vanguard vendors. And he's got an interesting, if not exciting, set of gear this week. So the first thing I want to talk about is there's no weapon. That's disappointing. It's nice to see a weapon from Zur. Uh, this week, again, we don't see one. We've got an exotic gauntlet engram. Quick tip about this, if you buy these on a 300 character and it drops gear for that character, there's a pretty good chance that it could drop 310 light level gear, uh, which even if you don't need that particular exotic, at 310 you can infuse other gear up to that level if you buy some of these engrams. So you're not guaranteed to get a 310 piece of gear out of this, but it is a pretty easy way of upgrading your light level. Next, we've got a legacy engram for heavy weapons. So if you're looking for a year one exotic like Truth, uh, Galahorn, Thunderlord, you can pick this up. It costs 31 strange coins though. So unless you're really dead set on filling out your collection of year one exotics, I can't really recommend this. It just seems too expensive for year one gear. All right, for the Titans, we've got an insurmountable skull fort. Now, the funny thing about the insurmountable skull fort is in year one, this was pretty much a pass, but in year two, it seems a lot better. So the perks on this include improved transfusion. Kills with storm fists immediately trigger health regeneration. Also, you respawn with full melee energy and you gain a second melee charge. That's pretty powerful. Even if you're not using it on a striker titan, respawning with full melee energy and gain a second melee charge is pretty good. And if you are using it on a striker, Storm Fist immediately triggering health regeneration is pretty powerful. Next, we got increased intellect and increased strength. So, increased strength works perfectly with improved transfusion. We've got hands on, gain bonus super energy from melee kills. Again, works perfectly. And finally, we got invigoration, gain bonus melee energy on orb pickups. Not a bad roll for an insurmountable skull for, and the intellect and strength roll isn't too shabby either. Next, we've got Knucklehead Radar, a famous helmet for the Hunters. Again, not a bad purchase, but not exactly exciting because it is a year one to year two upgrade. This one's got sensor pack. Radar remains visible while aiming primary weapons. We've got increased intellect and increased discipline. We've got Infer Shadow, increased super energy gain from killing minions of darkness. We got Hands On, gain super energy from melee kills on minions of darkness. And we got Infusion, replenish health each time you pick up an orb of light. I love the Infusion perk. It just helps out constantly when you're in danger of getting killed. You just run across an orb and all of a sudden you've got full health again. Again, not a bad roll. We've got Intellect 34, Discipline 35. For the Warlocks, again, a year one to year two upgrade, but again, I gotta recommend picking this one up. The perks on this include the Whispers, gain an additional charge for all Warlock charged melees. That includes all three subclasses, so it doesn't matter which subclass you are, you're gonna get a double charge on your melee. Very, very useful. Increase discipline, increase strength. Again, increased strength works with the whispers. We got snap discharge, increase melee attack speed. Again, these are going to work together. We've also got impact induction. So if you want to get bonus grenade energy from melee hits, that's going to work well here too. And finally, we got auto rifle loader or sniper rifle loader. Auto rifle loader is good because auto rifles are good now. And of course, sniper, sniper rifle loader has always been good. Sniper rifles are very strong right now in PvP and in PvE. All right, so we've got the exotic Engram. You can try your luck at getting a 310 there. And then for Curios, we've got Plasma Drive and Emerald Coil. So if you're looking to upgrade a blue rare Sparrow to legendary status and change the color of the Contrail, you can go for it here. We've got Heavy Ammo Synth and, of course, the infamous Three of Coins for Seven Strange Coins for a five-pack of those. Finally, we've got a Material Exchange to get Motes of Light. So, like I said, it's not a super exciting week for Zerb, but they're solid picks overall. And, of course, you do have a chance of getting 310 gear out of this exotic Engram. Even if you don't need the exotic you get, you might be able to use that to infuse other things. And at 19 strange coins, it doesn't seem that bad. So 
So I'm going to buy a couple of those and we're going to check out what Master Rahul gives us. Okay, so we are here at Master Rahul and what I'm hoping for is to get some 310 gear out of these Engrams. I believe they have to drop as a Titan Exotic and I still got to get lucky after that. Let's see how it goes. We got no backup plans, Ruin Wings, and no backup plans. So if I get lucky, all of these will be 310. If I get unlucky, none of them will be. Let's see what we got. A 290 backup plan, a 310 Ruin Wing, and a 290 backup plan. So not too bad, the 310 Ruin Wings. That's definitely going to replace my 284 Ruin Wings. And that'll be very helpful. But the two no backup plans, not helpful whatsoever. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Hit that like button if you like the video. Hit subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time.